to the fifth edition of A Monarch's Legacy. In this episode, we dove into the minds of our Counter-Strike 2 players as they share what it means to them to be a part of a team environment and their aspirations for this coming season. Well, that's funny you ask. So it is Eric, mm-hmm. year I-K, not mm-hmm. year I-C, not year I-C-H. Mm-hmm. And I go by the gamer tag, Eric is an epic gamer because I made that as a joke on Steam when I made my account four years ago mm-hmm. to play the game CSGO, which right. I now play now. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, my name is Damien Donahue, um, the captain and game leader. Uh, my name is David Brzezowski. Uh, well, my in-game name is Gibby. Mm-hmm. And it's, that's been my, I guess my nickname since I was like 15 maybe. And then I picked up the name because I kind of like the the character Gibby from iCarly. <laughs> right. And I kind of I kind of feel like I'm similar to him. So I don't like the Apex Legend Gibby. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I am an opera role and a very hard support role. So mm-hmm. out of all of my teammates, I know the most utility. Mm-hmm. So I'm the one who mostly has to be coordinating, not the one that's giving the plays on the map, just mm-hmm. more how am I going to throw my utility and then how are the other teammates going to play around that. Gotcha. So because I know more of the smokes, my positioning has to be more centered towards map. Mm-hmm. So that means I can't really explore places, and if I do, I have to know, th- know how to throw the util to other places on the map. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of a memorization game, because I can't really aim that well. Mm-hmm. I know that's not my strong point, but if I can memorize a hundred different things that my enemy and my teammates don't know, I'm still going to be able to help in another place. What's your day-to-day like as the leader for this team? Just scheduling, mm-hmm. playing with my teammates, trying to figure out if we're gonna play tonight because <laughs> these people can't figure it out. Kind of just in the middle. Mm-hmm. I'm not an opper. I'm not a. I'm not a captain, and I'm not a support. So I'm either a rifler or. Any <laughs> Basically, they throw me in, and then my teammates are throwing flashbangs and stuff behind me. <laughs> with the new update of Counter Strike and a new bracket, our players are nonetheless confident in their abilities. Yet understand practice makes perfect. I play a. a large variety of games mm-hmm. um, and I'd say about half of them are FPS's so I'm getting my aim practice in any game, any game I'm playing mm-hmm. um, and I, I usually just get my like CS game sense and like learning smokes and flashbangs during practice mm-hmm. but I don't really I play CS2 a little bit outside of practice, but usually only during practice. So day to day, at least right now, is getting that utility down. Mm -hmm. I don't put as much emphasis on aim practice just Mm -hmm. because I know it's my weakness. Right. I do also do that, but mostly I get my practice through playing actual maps so Mm -hmm. I can have more of a game sense in that manner. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the time is practicing aim. But right now my focus is hitting my shots one time with the AWP or making sure I'm able to support my players with flashes, molotovs, or other utility that I have to use. Because I can hit my shot the first time, Mm -hmm. but then if you give me an AK, I'm like, (laughs) spray pad, (laughs) spray pad is all over. Like these big guys are gonna get kills here, it's gonna be a good here. So, but like with that, like with this, like what we're doing, is uh, right. from, like, these smoke off, the person playing here and here, or like whatever like, the second person is, um, needs to clear out this right here immediately, and then play for this, this cave man. So for me, at least this season, I look forward to winning, because mm-hmm. we're put into a bracket where we have a competing chance, mm-hmm. so that is what I'm really excited about, and why I'm putting so much effort into practicing that I was in previous seasons. Mm-hmm. In previous seasons, it was pretty much a bust. No matter how much effort I put in, there's people that had two, three times the amount of experience. Mm-hmm. So at least for that, that's also nice, but this year too, we have a lot of team synergy that I haven't seen in the past. Mm-hmm. For example, we were having people contesting over Captain a few seasons ago in our JV roster. Mm-hmm. So there was always infighting and we couldn't focus on actually playing the game. Mm-hmm. And of course, we lost most of our matches because of that. Uh-huh. So right now, we don't have a lot of fighting. We're very coordinated. We have a lot of energy together. Mm-hmm. So I'm very excited to utilize that to actually crush or defeat other teams. I, I look forward to um, like the positioning play. Like, mm-hmm. So you'll have like a person who's engaging a, a target and then you'll be like, oh, I need someone else to peek. And so someone will come behind him or peek from a different angle and assist you. Mm-hmm. I, actually, I like I like the, the visual, the visualized different angles of attack. It's kind of like, like slicing a pie, you know? <laughs> uh, I think my weakest probably necessarily be positioning. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm pretty decent at everything, but I want to get better at everything. Mm-hmm. I'm very critical on myself and my mindset. 
Um, I want to improve my aim. I, I, I haven't. I only got back into CS back in like March, so I've only been playing again for like nine months. Yeah. So I'm really just trying to get my aim back up. Mm -hmm. My game sense is still doing pretty good, but I definitely want to improve on that. So for me, I'm more excited to play here because mm -hmm. when I play the game alone, it's actually a worse experience for me. <laughs> Having that team communication is what makes teams go pro mm -hmm. and is for me what makes it more enjoyable. We definitely need to work on team play. Mm -hmm. Sometimes sometimes people don't pick up on um, commands that the captain gives. Mm -hmm. Sometimes call outs aren't heard. So we need to work on our communication better for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, it's good to get to know your teammates. Right. So you're not just strangers until you get on the stage. <laughs> our players are dedicated to the game, yet strive for success in the arena and the classroom. Main challenge. Uh, balancing my just my schedule with everything. Mm -hmm. Trying to get a job, trying to work out, mm -hmm. trying to make it to practice, trying to do my work. Yeah. Got a girlfriend, <laughs> got a family. But this is my first time. Um, it's really just trying to find the balance between schoolwork mm -hmm. and and uh, playing and practicing because I'm a senior student in mechanical engineering and the classes are extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. um, and my schedule on Tuesdays and Thursdays is like 12 hours, and then I'm in school. So mm -hmm. it's just it's trying to find that balance between getting work done and getting uh, game work done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> CS2's fall 2023 players have started the season off strong, with their record being 2-0. Even as they go forward to future seasons, they wish to continue the streak and set the bar high for players to come. I'm, I'm ready to play. I just want to play some Counter-Strike with these dudes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, I'm ready to play and I'm ready to win. I have a bunch of my friends hopefully watching the streams. Um, and I'm excited to play a new game because CS2 just came out. Mm -hmm. and gonna show ourselves on the stage. So even if we don't win anything this season, even though we buy it, mm -hmm. um, I really want to take that energy and move it forward. Uh, just be ready for us, man. We're, we're not the same as last year. <laughs> gotcha. We're ready to play. This has been Isabel Cologne reporting for ODU Esports, and thank you for watching A Monarch's Legacy.